Hello and welcome to Breezy the Teacher's YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to be talking about the associative property of multiplication. This means that these numbers are going to associate with each other and communicate. The associative property of communication means you can group factors in different ways and still get the same product. Doesn't that sound a little crazy? I underlined some key words in here that say group, different, and same product. We should be able to, when we use this associative property, we should be able to group our numbers together in two different ways. And when we add and multiply those together, we should still get the same product, okay? So let's go ahead and check it out. Here is our first problem. If you notice, I have the same multiplication problem written twice. So the first one says three times four times two equals 24. And the second one says three times four times two equals 24. So remember in our definition where it says that you can group factors in different ways. Well, if you watched the last video, you learned about these parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and put these around three times four here. And then we're going to group two different numbers in our multiplication problem here. So we already grouped three times four, so I'm gonna scoot it on over and put my parentheses around this this time, four times two. Now remember in our definition it said we can group the factors in two different ways and we still should get the same product or answer, okay? So let's see if we do. First of all, let's check out what this means. Three times four times two. Remember, using multiplication, if you see any parentheses in your problem, you have to do those numbers first, okay? So looking at the top number, we have to do three times four first because they fall in between the parentheses, okay? So what is three times four? Good, if you said 12, that is right. So three times four is 12. Then we're going to put the times up here and move that too. So our new multiplication problem is 12 times 2. What is 12 times 2? Beep, beep, beep. If you said 24, you are right. Let's go and see if we, when we move those parentheses, do we still get the same answer? Let's check it out. So down here, are we going to do 3 times 4 first or 4 times 2 first? If you said 4 times 2, let's get rock and roll. And remember, we have to do what's inside of the parentheses first when we use the associative property of multiplication. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Good. Then we drop down the rest of the problem. Next, we figure out what 3 times 8 is. If you have viewed any of our other my other videos, you know the jingle to 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Very good. So this is also equal to 24. Both products stayed the same. Let's check out one more. One more. This time we're going to do 6 times 1 times 5. The first thing I want you to think of when you use the associative property is making sure that you have enough numbers to make two separate groups that are different, okay? So here we go. It says six times one times five. I always like to start off using my parentheses in the first set. So we're going to group six times one on the top we're going to simply rewrite without using the parentheses down here. Six times one times five equals, and we're going to see where we can put the second set of parentheses, okay? So we did six times one already, so we're gonna move on over to that second set and put the parentheses around there, all right? 
Now we are ready to solve. Remember, we do what's in the parentheses first. So here we go. Six times one. What is six times one? Awesome. Six times one is six. We drop down all of the rest of the things. Six times five. That is our new multiplication problem. What is six times five? Six, 12, 18, 24. 30. Awesome. Six times five is 30. Okay. So in order for us to have used the associative property of multiplication correctly, we must get the same product of 30 down here. Let's check it out. Let's see if we've got it. Remember, we do what's inside of the parentheses first. So what is one times five? Good. One times five is five. Any number times one is the number itself. There we go, five, and all we do is drop the rest of this down. Look, we've already know that we have this right, six times five and six times five. What is six times five? 30, awesome sauce, there we go. We have 30 on both of our products. That is how you use the associative property of multiplication. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in to Breezy the Teacher's YouTube page.